Whenever I was growing up, a huge part of my childhood was dance. I've been dancing for 15 years now, so I started whenever I was three, and that's kind of been my whole life. I can remember my first dance class, and I actually have best friends from that dance class. And my mom was actually the studio owner, so I was up there every single day of the week, on the weekends, in the summer, every single day. And so really made my relationship with my mom special because we had this bond with dance. So it was just a normal day and we, me and my mom went to a doctor's appointment after dance and I thought it was nothing, just a checkup. And then the doctor walked in the room and said that she had a tumor in her liver. I felt hopeless and I felt defeated, like I was about to lose my favorite person in the world. And I remember the day we found out, I sat in my room and I said, God, I can't. I can't take this anymore. I will not be strong enough to do this by myself. And I remember struggling with him and I was praying to him and I was saying, heal my mom. I want her to get better. I want her to be normal. And then a year and a half later, she passed away. So the year my mom got sick, I actually attended my first switch, and then I actually got to dance at the At The Movies at Life Church. That year, I started going to switch every week, and I met my youth leader, my favorite person ever, and she mentored me through that whole season. But she would know how to reach out to me and know when to text me and know when to pray for me and be there for me. And she really learned my heart in that season, whether that's on a happy day or a sad day, just being there in every single moment got me through. You have to be plugged in. You have to find community. You, ha you cannot give up and you cannot walk through this battle alone. It's gonna be hard to open up about your struggles because sometimes you can't even process them. So saying them out loud is gonna be really difficult, but it's worth it because there's growth on the other side of that. In the pain, there's purpose, but it's worth it. And finding those friends and finding those mentors that can walk through you with that is the most important thing. The community I found was at Switch, actually, and every single week it was a safe place that I could go to with my problems and my doubts and my questions, walking through this battle with my mom being sick, and they just listened. And that's what I needed at the time. You need community, and I found that at Switch that they could just listen and just be there for me in the hardest moments of my life. You might not ever understand why. And I think we can wrestle with God saying, why me? And I did that so much when my mom was sick. I trust you, God, but why me? I've been faithful. I've been a good Christian. Why did you choose my family to hurt? Why did you choose me? I don't know the reason why, but I can see the fruit from it. And my family being faithful, that there's purpose and pain even when we don't feel it. My name is Emily, and this is my story.